in spite of the efforts of both captains to set up a game on the last day of the LV County Championship contest between Sussex and Yorkshire at the Brighton and Hove Jobs.com ground, more rain meant that the match was drawn and that now leaves Yorkshire 27 and a half points behind leaders Durham with just two games to go. The two skippers first agreed on a target to be set for the visitors after Sussex resumed their second innings on the final morning on 48 for two with a lead of just 14. Phil Jakes's first ever first class wicket in his 187th match was not part of the script. It was not a moment that Ed Joyce will want to be reminded of too often, that's for sure, while the rest of the morning was simply an abundance of fours and sixes for Rory Hamilton-Brown and Chris Nash. Some think that this help-yourself bowling goes against the nature of first-class cricket, while others will see it as a positive mood to try to manufacture a result, a result that Yorkshire needed rather more than their opponents with the extraordinary events going on in Derby. Nash will probably never score an easy 100. He reached it with his 16th four to get there off 75 deliveries. He didn't really want to raise his bat in celebration, but when the memory fades later in life, he can look at the records and see a ton by his name. He went on to hit 10 more fours and took his tally of sixes to three as he raised to 167 not out when the agreed declaration was made. It's easy to see why Andrew Gale doesn't bowl himself too often. He helped the out-of-form Hamilton Brown smash 126 of 83 balls before Sussex declared on 333 for three to set their opponents a target of 300 in 64 overs. Yorkshire then played their part by asking Liam Plunkett to open and he was out for 11 when he whipped a ball from Lewis Hatchett to Joyce. Some would argue that Yorkshire were in a good enough position at the start of the day to try to take early wickets to force a result the natural way, rather like what happened in Derby. But none of it mattered anyway, as rain showers took the players off and on, showers which eventually made the chase a pointless one. Ashar Zaidi grabbed his fifth wicket of the match on debut to get shot of Jakes for 23, but Adam Lyde still looked up for the challenge and was making good progress in scoring 40 from 58 balls, but the match was in the end drawn when more rain arrived before 3 o'clock to mean that this game ended rather disappointingly. Yorkshire were on 81 for 2 when the game was called off and so that means they had to make do with 9 points to Sussex's 7. The visitors are now 27 and a half points behind Durham and they must win their last two matches and hope that their rivals slip up. Sussex, meanwhile, looks set for a top four finish.